Do they ever know if it's stable? No, they don't, nor will you unless you follow best practice. That's the, the more confusing area of CNC. Just because your machine is stable for the first one or two minutes doesn't mean the machine is stable. Stability is dictated over time. So therefore, unless you follow all of the best practices to mitigate EMI at a level that is so low, it does not interfere with signals that the machine is sending and receiving, you essentially are a time bomb and you never know when it's gonna go off. Pay close attention to these guys and be careful. Here is the electronics. As you can see, I started getting some of it wired. Um, what's nice about that electrical box is it comes with this back plate. So you can see here all my so like clockwork, we can see that the back plate to his electronics enclosure is nylon. Yes, it appears that it's very easy to mount everything as it's removable. But once again, as discussed, it's non-conductive. So he will use a ground bus or a metal plate. If he uses a ground bus, he can just terminalize everything right off the ground bus. If he uses a metal plate, everything would screw to the metal plate naturally, and then it would be grounded. Pending, he would use a terminal splitter, which is metal, that has a ground lead coming from his power supplies ground run to it, therefore conductively grounding the back plate. Here's what I was talking about. Nice straight shot over to that fan. This is vented on the back side. So it'll be vented there. Okay, so we just heard him explain about the cooling fan that's mounted within his power supplies enclosure is basically going to vent all of his electronics enclosure where his CNC electronics are mounted from those little holes he has drilled in it. Now guys, I want you to think about that on how illogical that sounds. Anyone who's had familiarity with a DC power supply realize that these little fans that are mounted within the enclosure of it are just designed to circulate ambient air within that enclosure for the power supply's electronics. It's nowhere near adequate putting out the required CFM cubic feet per minute as far as output of the fan to cool his CNC electronics.